Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World. Today we're at Epcot because it's the first day of the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Come on in, check it out. One of the first things you're wanna, gonna wanna do is grab your festival passport. You'll find those right as you come through. As you can see here, guys, you come through the gate and there they are right there. So I'm so excited to be at this festival because it is my favorite festival throughout the year. The different festivals they have here at Epcot, this one is my favorite. All the cool um, decorations here, I guess you could call them. And of course, up top, we have Figment. Let's get right inside, guys. I'm gonna give you a tour around. I'm gonna show you some of the different activities going on, the food, everything, you name it. You got it covered here on Meddling World. Let's go. So, uh, as we're heading in, guys, the um, passbook is awesome because it breaks down everything. Kind of just, let's just flip it open as you can see. Boom, what do we have? The different foods. And this kind of has all the different information, Roberta, thank you for holding that. Um, yeah. I wanted to show you guys this like food stroll they have and here it is so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go around you're gonna find the different foods uh, for this I think it's called officially called the colorful cuisine the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine so you get to pick some of these nice food items you get a stamp here after you collect all five you get a bonus at the end that's something pretty cool uh, I know this year also they have a, a, a scavenger hunt which involves a figment around the World Showcase. I know there'll be a mural that you can paint. There are performing arts, there are visual arts, culinary and arts. there are culinary arts. So when you think festival arts, you know, you ought to, uh, I usually just think of visual arts, but no, it incorporates all different arts and it is an awesome time a lot of ramble in the beginning of this but let's get inside because i think the first thing we're probably going to come to guys is the mural i believe yeah. which as we're walking in if you make your way kind of to the right side there's usually a mural that you can participate in paint let's go see if it's there again this year uh, i was just mentioning the mural and this is usually where it is and i'm not seeing it so i don't know if it might be moved to another location but if you remember last year, it was here is where the mural was. You went and got the paintbrushes and they assigned you a color. I don't see it here. I, I would think they have it. Let's see if we can find it as we journey through, but not in its regular location, maybe because of the construction. I just noticed as we're coming over the bridge here, we're kind of entering into the world showcase where there's a lot of the action from the festival. Can you see uh, Fantasia? painting there with sorcerer mickey in the dancing brooms that's pretty neat i did not notice that i think that is just for the festival pretty cool here we go guys i have found the mural that they will be painting oh it's got some nice colors in it so right here guys let me show you it's called the expression section a paint by number yeah so check it out as you can see everybody kind of comes in you get a little brush and they give you numbers that you paint so it's pretty neat we've done it every year to be part of it so let me just kind of show you from here so you just kind of get in the line and everybody paints it and last year they had several different ones as they finish them they do take them down and put new ones uh quite a long queue to paint today so i think i'll just give you the information rather than us waiting in that line just to watch us paint a couple numbers you guys get the idea so pretty neat um i will show you though there should be a place where you pick up your brushes let me see if i can find that for you so you'll know exactly where to go this is where you would pick up your paints and your brushes so you can see the murals right there so it's right here and what i'm loving about this is they actually have the different murals that you'll be painting looks like there's four of them and i believe they're doing the figment one first which is right over there on the top left really neat and just to let you know that's free that's totally included uh as you you know you get into the park you're able to do that for nothing but 
we're gonna take a nice picture in front of this awesome rainbow with figment because it's figment and it's rainbows and they're all awesome and here guys you're gonna see some photo ops but can you hear in the background there there's some performing arts going on down there in a world showcase but they have these cool like picture areas where you can kind of go in and take a picture there's one here and then there's another one right over here uh let me try to see a little bit better for you guys really neat check it out Anyways, this is pretty cool they have the kids chalk art area where you can just kind of come in uh you can have the kids come in and they can just have fun creating art why not it is the international festival of the arts cool guys, can you see why this is my favorite festival please take a moment subscribe to meddling world if you haven't yet look here's some artists in action looks like we have some a mini going on here really cool so these will kind of continue all the way down the line as the festival goes on really really cool and over on the other side right here actually you can see the chalk art and some of the different artists looks like they have their names on there but right across the way over here as we walk across quite busy today too uh first day of the festival let me see if i can come right over here i do like to show crowds as i vlog so you guys can see um you know how many people are around so i'm gonna go in here and kind of show you some of this stuff too oh these ones are kind of worn off so hopefully they'll have some more but yeah you, there'll be more art going all the way down here as well throughout the festival all chalk art this is a really cool um if it's the same as last year what it was is it was performing arts mixed in with visual arts uh let's go have a look so all throughout the day different performances so yeah you can see musician musician performing artist so what they did last year was there was um like music and they were also painting at the same time so if this is where you want to come to see that as you can see we just came right in i'm kind of going right down the line so you can just follow me as i go around but i will let you know all the different places we're at this is really cool when it's going on it's a lot of fun to watch very entertaining and these guys are wicked talented as we do make our way around the world showcase you're going to see a lot of these different stands with all kinds of different art this is uh a photographer simone amaduzi so you're going to see a lot of this stuff as you go all the way around and i'm going to show you lots of it believe me i'm going to show you lots of it i'm going to show you a lot of the different artists this artist uh his name is ba is rob kaz uh he might be here today looks like he's doing and it, it, we do go around if you do see the artists they will be creating art as they go but here's just a little bit of his work really nice stuff here oh look at that love it and you can buy the art guys it's for sale and what i really love about this festival too is there's so many different styles of the visual artist uh each one kind of has their own way of creating disney art and it's really really awesome let's look a little bit more because i love this with the millennium falcon there just to give you an idea of how much something like this would cost uh it must be landing on batu 595 and that would be with the frame that's nice mama said look at this one we have stitch ducks in a row oh my god ducks in a row so that one's 149 as the way you see it there'll also be like it yeah, right over here so i won't show like every time this but you can also buy them kind of like like this these ones are usually a little cheaper let's see 50. so if you want to buy it just kind of like that 50. as i mentioned the um culinary arts this is the uh wonderful walk of colorful cuisine which i showed you in the past book so here's a little information about it you just kind of go around and you can pick five of the items you get your stamp 
And then at the end, I wonder if that's what you get at the end. That really looks cool. Really neat. And there's all kinds of different foods. So it's a lot of fun. This. Do you know why this is my favorite festival of all of them? Now, they're all awesome. Don't get me wrong. They're all awesome and they're all unique. But this one is the shortest running one, I think. Maybe Festival of the Holidays and this one's about the same. This one's only about five or six weeks. The other ones go on for several months, but it's a lot of fun, man. I love it. I'm just showing you the crowds. It is, it is packed, man. Like, it really is busy here. And it's not a very warm day. It's cold, it's windy. People got their sweatshirts. So it is packed. So, but Meddling World, you're on the adventure with us. We're gonna try some foods, of course. We're gonna show you the art. We're gonna continue on because nothing stops us. So here we are, guys, at the Gourmet Landscapes. Uh, we're gonna pick out a couple items here to try for you guys the wild mushroom risotto and the blood orange braised beet yeah that says beet tartar i believe we tried that last year i'm looking forward to trying it again yeah guys i was right in on there because i was getting the artist's name here because uh if you can see the real trend in his art is really fascinating because he's kind of giving you the perspective like of Bubba Fett what is he looking at you know or the Mandalorian what's he looking out at this is really neat and I just love this one here uh, yeah some people say baby Yoda that's fine we can call him baby Yoda today a Grogu but check him out and the artist name here is Christian Wag Wagoner okay really nice art what i'm doing is kind of as roberta's waiting in line i'm kind of going around to show you guys some of the different art and as i said you'll see some of the artists are here and he's signing art that you would purchase so really cool let's actually while he's here let's go inside and have a little bit of a look at some of his art here so his name is a mike Kuka. So, looks like a lot of marble. He's doing a lot of marble. Let's get a Ghost Rider. We got Spider-Man up there. Little Guardians of the Galaxy. And let's just, for the heck of it, we got Thor over here, right? And he is 495. Just a little bit more, and I do kind of want to show you some of the prints here because you definitely can buy the prints, and he'll sign those as well. Uh, and you get your authenticity. So, really neat. There's a lot of Indiana Jones stuff too. Wow, look at that. That's an awesome painting. It's like the movie poster. Really cool. So I wanted to show you this. This is really cool, and this is what I'm talking about with just all kinds of different art. You can see here look at these things these things are really neat and his name is joe ledbetter so he creates these creatures he's calling them. so pretty cool i'll let you read about him if you want there you can hit the pause read about joe so kind of like toy design really neat such a variety as I said uh, and as you've seen as we're going through you'll see that the artists they all have their own way of really creating this awesome art so really neat and it does look like he has some of the prints here too some other paintings well you can see the kind of different styles he has right really fun so we're back here it looks like Roberta has now uh, hopefully gotten through oh yeah she's there so she's coming right around and then you just pick up your food you pay they give you a receipt you come by it usually goes pretty quickly because they have so much of it although they do run out sometimes now i know somebody let me get some sun out of the way guys hang on i know there's something you're thinking about figment popcorn buckets and i know it so i'm going to break it down for you in a second so yes they do have the famous or maybe infamous almost 
um, figment popcorn bucket again this year at the festival. As soon as we get to the area where those popcorn buckets are available, I'm gonna give you the information of how to obtain that bucket and show you where it is and all that. So as we go around, we will end up there, I promise you. So stick with Meddling World as we go around the World Showcase. And as, I, as soon as we get to that location, I'll give you the information and how you can get the bucket if you're coming down. So here are our dishes. We just showed you and explained what we're gonna have. You'll notice they're not, they're not huge. Uh, this one, it was a little pricey though. This is almost $10. This one though, I believe is around the $5 mark. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead guys, and we'll definitely give you a review on these, both of them. This one is just, as you can see, right? Festival of the Arts. It looks awesome, yeah, right? It it's got the colors, it's got everything. Enough with the talk though, let's eat. So Jake says he wants to try, he's going in. A single B. He just wants to try a single B. So he's going in, let's see what he, what he thinks. Good. Yeah, I like it. Nice. Jake is liking it. it let's kind of let's go together, like... Jake. It kind of tastes like one of those little short hard carrots. It tastes like one of those short hard carrots. Oh, tastes like carrots. All right, let's let's give it a try. Mm. Mushrooms. It is good, guys. Definitely is good. I I, I want another bite right away. Hope I'm not allergic to mushrooms. Mmm, mushrooms are great. This is. Very fresh, looks crunchy, beautiful, and the mushrooms are just right. The ingredients blending together. Now, it's just beets. A lot of people don't like beets. I do like beets. I'm gonna give it an eight, 8.5 even for the beets. Love it, let's get right into it. Roberta, can you help me pronounce this properly? It's risotto, wild mushroom risotto. And let's get some of that mushroom. This let's is get right a, in this. This is a eight and a half. Eight and a half, wow, Jake. Jake and I agree. It's good. Mm. And it's healthy. Very nice, very good. Roberta's handing me napkins. Meddling World makes a little mess here. This is fantastic as well. Excellent flavor. The mushroom was really good. One more bite for me. It's hot, it's warm on a cold day. Another 8.5. Very good. Guys, we're moving right along, and the cool thing is, we are at the Festival of the Arts, and some of our beets ended up in the. How do you say it again, Roberta? Risotto. Risotto. So we kind of mixed it up. Oh, it was we so made our good. own culinary art. It was so good. <laughs> it was great. The risotto. And now people that watch us know that I love risotto. Oh my yeah. gosh. It was and so I'm washing it down with a Pellegrino only because it's getting to be cruise season, and I ended up falling in love with these on Royal Caribbean, so, ah. Oh, maybe there's a cruise in the future on Meddling World, but anyway, today it's about Festival of the Arts. Let's keep it moving, much more to see. So we just passed through the UK, but there really was not uh, a lot going on there. Um, so we're gonna be keep it moving until we get over here to the uh, France pavilion and well to me i would think that there's definitely some arts over there well, let's go find out so they definitely do have some um culinary arts here in celebration of the festival let me go show you the menu very very long queue though so i'll show you the menu at least but we're gonna move on and try another snack somewhere else where we can kind of get a little bit quicker but here you guys go if you want to just kind of take a look at it anything there jumping out at you yeah this roberta <laughs> says that i'm not even gonna cream de brie and petite pain that means cream debris that's some uh looking good anyway oh look at those croissants wow we definitely got to come back here and try some of this stuff um, that looks good. That again, looks now good. listen guys, one of the reasons it is extremely busy here today because it is the first day. 
so you know if you're on vacation here for a certain amount of days you're coming today to, to get this because you guys can see how awesome it is it's so fun i love it i love the energy of it and i just i enjoy the visual arts i really do and matter of fact i see some more in front of us let's go have a look well, here we are at another uh booth here guys and it's the verbante and verbante and Vivido. and we did want to try the empanadas we're gonna have to come back oh the passion fruit mousse oh my gosh so many things here look amazing but again guys look at the queue long line to go we're at another artist area and the artist is here let me see i might remember her from last year let me see what her name is ashley taylor if i remember she did like princesses hi so this is what's so nice like Ashley herself is here you can talk to her you can buy a print and she'll sign it for you she'll autograph it isn't that amazing and these are top-notch Disney artists um, they're picked out specifically for their unique art to be in this festival so let's have a little look this is looks like Jason Rather, some of this art here over on this side is from Jason. Oh, I was watching him. Oh, and then as we go over to this side, you'll find Ash. He wasn't gonna let me walk away. Really nice. He wasn't gonna let me walk away without This is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, James Coleman here, who is actually making a a painting as he's here hanging out. Love your work, James. Awesome, man. Well, I'm uh, out here working hard. <laughs> Somebody got to pay the bills, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we'll work for Diet Coke. All right. <laughs> and a beer later. And a beer later. There you go. <laughs> Good guy, man. Love it. And let's go take a look at some of his awesome artwork here. And, and, and guy, you see, you can just, you can go up to him. They like to talk to you. They, most of them real humble, cool. Now let's see what James has, Roberta. Anything catching your eye? Looks like James is over on this side. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. It's okay. Look at this. It's amazing, isn't it? He's got really neat stuff. Here we are, guys. Kind of making our way through Morocco. You can see some more. <laughs> like some more booths up ahead let's go see what we can find and this is one of my favorite artists uh, I've seen him a few times here now he goes by Noah he has such a unique style of art it's really really cool and you can see the line to get him to autograph your work he's amazing and I do definitely want to show you some of his his work uh, he uses such a cool color pattern as you can see Really, really awesome. And look at this one over oh, there, Walt Disney. It's amazing. Look at that. It almost looks like a photograph, doesn't it? How great it is. But yeah, his art is beautiful. These look like newer ones. I did not see these last year. This one was last year. That one was last year, yeah. I don't remember the jack. It might be a glare there on the camera, but to see this these are the ones i like he does a lot of the motorcycles and roberta jake don't you just love the color scheming he uses yeah. it just really brings your attention to the piece doesn't it yeah. so awesome noah you're you're awesome dude guys just to show you another one of the culinary art booths here this is goshiki over here in japan pavilion just gonna kind of show you what it is we're not gonna try any of these either today we're definitely coming back don't worry we will be back uh, and we're gonna try many more items but today again we'll try some just to uh, give you some reviews um, we want to come back and do the uh, scavenger hunt remember I was telling you in the beginning the uh, figment scavenger hunt 
Uh, we're gonna come back and do that. We'll try some more food. Festival of the Arts, we usually do two vlogs just because, as you can see, there's so much. But today is just a full review, everything you need to know about this awesome festival. Let's continue through and see what we end up next. We're coming up here to the American Pavilion and I do have some very important information uh, here that I want to tell you about um, art, which it's would so. be performing arts. So guys, this is where you're going to find your Disney's on Broadway and you'll see there's different um, singers and what they do is they perform some of the awesome songs that you would find on the uh, Disney Broadway series uh, actually all throughout this country for sure and probably internationally they come and they sing as you can see tonight you have Kevin Massey who will be from Tarzan and you have Kara Lindsay from the Newsies so 5.30, 6.45 and 8 really neat and then during the day they have an animation academy here where you can come and sit and they kind of teach you different drawings and things along that nature which is really cool and that's at 12 30 and 1 30. so keep that in mind also if you saw the candlelight um vlog i did they do have dinner packages where you're guaranteed a seat and they also have a standby line on the other side so that's your information there for your uh, Disney Broadway series. This artist here, guys, David Doss, he's really awesome. We talked to him last year, and he does a lot of the beach theme with the Disney characters. Just to show you a couple of them here. Look at that. Roberta, the Fab Five, hanging out in the Adirondacks. Looking out, I was gonna say, it looked like Cape Cod at first until I saw the palm trees. <laughs> So they're definitely somewhere nice and warm. And down here again, guys. Oh, all about Florida. Uh, we, if you live in Florida, you all know about the traffic on I-4. Yeah. So it would take you quite a while to get around to all these places, right? Really neat, love it. Now, this is a piece I would like to buy at some point, just because there's so much to see here. And just, can you imagine sitting in your living room, dreaming? and imagining all the fun things you can do here, especially this one right here in the middle. Oh, Roberta saw the hidden Mickey in the cloud. I hope you can see that with the reflection. This is a beautiful piece. Uh, I will not be buying it anytime soon because it's 795. <laughs> Maybe it's got a smaller print. We'll have to find out. <laughs> and they do have smaller ones. So that's good news. I may have to come back at some point and get that. I love it. Another one of the culinary art stops here, guys. The artist table. The hummingbird cake sounds pretty good. Maybe we'll try that one. Well, let's continue on as we're waiting for our hummingbird cake. Another artist studio here, Thomas Kincaid. I think that I definitely have seen his work before. Very popular Disney artist. So, there's an Alice in Wonderland scene there. Really cool. Jake, is that the Lion King down there that you're looking at? Yep. Beautiful. All kinds of cool ones here, guys. The Aristocats, right? Some more of the Aristocats up there. I like this. Nice, colorful, plenty to look at. Really, really neat. So sometimes when you send Roberta up to get the hummingbird uh, cake, you come back with meatloaf and you come back with a flight. <laughs> Hot chocolate flight. I think we had this last year. Yes, we did, yeah. So we actually going to try three different things for you guys. Let's dig in. And here goes Jake. He's going to dig right in. He already had a little bite to taste test. But this is the uh, the hummingbird cake. So we have banana cake with pineapple, coconut, pecans, and cream cheese frosting with banana sorbet. So how's that banana sorbet, Jake? I know you already had a bite of it. It's pretty 
pretty good, but I don't taste much flavor, so it's a seven. Now he's going into the actual uh, cake itself. And then, yeah, that's the coconut on top. Mm, the pineapple. Jake, what are you thinking on this cake? I know you've tried a few bites of it. I'm gonna let you be the one to review this cake for us. It's an eight. An eight? Just need a really make sure. So Jake's giving that an eight, and Roberta's going in for the meatloaf. Oh, she's gonna let me do the meatloaf. Let's tell you what's in the meatloaf. Let me eat it first, I guess. There's three meat meatloaf. First of all, it's cold. This dish here is cold. Kind of has like a vanilla. Those look pretty though. This kind of has like a try this. Vanilla tasting? Yeah. It's frosty. Let me, uh, so the meatloaf itself was cold, so I can't, I can't even give you a rating on that. It's, it's not good. It's cold. It looks like it's sitting there. Everything here is cold. It's a green pea, food, uh, green pea pudding, carrot, ketchup, sir, uh, and shaved carrot. Well, let's try the green pea pudding. Maybe that'll be a little better. If I can get in it. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, it's cold. Everything's cold on this dish. It's a disappointment. But let me try this. And it has all those nice little things. Pudding, I would assume, is cold. That was the best part. Mm -hmm. I think the pudding was the best out of that. The other things are cold. It's hard, it's hard to review a food that's cold. But that's 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 it. That's I what like, it is. I like meatloaf, so I'm having the meatloaf. <laughs> and Jake, give it a rating for us. It's a seven. Seven. Yeah, we'll be fair enough. It's probably good if it's hot. We'll give it a we'll give it a seven. I'm going in for the hummingbird cake. A little bit of everything. Mm. Oh, that I like. Mm. I would love another. I'm over here giving him <laughs> giving Roberta the sign language. <laughs> Oh, that's really good. I'm the one not having nothing today. That's Did really good. <clears throat> I'm going to give that an another eight and a half. That's really, really good. And I'm going with a hot chocolate. We have the hot chocolate flight. Looks like this should be, uh, I'm thinking that's dark chocolate, yeah. milk chocolate, and white chocolate. Yep. Oh my gosh, I got a hundred. I love dark chocolate. I'm going in on a dark chocolate. Let's hope that this is warm. No, it's just chocolate. Oh. Mm. Chocolate Let me try the dark. During the summertime. It's good. Very chocolatey, and I'm gonna try the white chocolate as well. The white chocolate was much more, you know, I want to say a little bit more watered down than the dark chocolate was very dense, very thick. Both have really good flavors though. I'll give them both an eight. Both an eight. But you know what? While we're at it, I better try the milk chocolate. Mm. Oh, they're nice. They're really nice. They're hot, they're warm, and they taste good. So I'm going to go right down the line. All eights. Well, let's continue on. We got a lot more to show you so guys here we are uh, another one of the food booths here and just to show you a little bit here some of the different things they have looks really good of course we're over near Italy as you can see with those kind of menu items moving on and just just want to give a shout out to all the cast members Roberta that are working on these festivals today yes Especially the first day, you know, that like it's the first day. That's where yeah. the mistakes are made and you fix everything. So the dish was cold, Roberta, but yeah. I'm not going to go crazy on it. Oh. It's just hard to rate. Yeah. And talking about shout out, <laughs> as we finish holiday season, like the Christmas, yes. shout out to my department. It was amazing. Especially shout Esmeralda. Out. Esmeralda asked for a special shout out. To Esmeralda? Her. Yeah. Esmeralda, awesome job working and with Roberta. And I have uh, so many friends, so yeah. shout out to everybody. It's hard to list out everybody. It so, is, uh, and you know, just, it was an amazing season. Just to say thank you to Roberta and your whole holiday service yes. team. Tonight's the last night. Magic Kingdom comes down yes. tonight. 
But guess what? You'll be getting it ready again <laughs> well, because season, it yeah. must go back up. Yeah. But anyway, that was awesome. I'm glad you did that, Roberta. Yes. And with that being said, yeah. more art. More art. Let's continue. And here we go, guys. More food booths, more performing arts. Really cool. Let's have a look here at this menu. The pastoral palette. So we have some red wine braised beef short rib. Ooh, sounds delicious. Wild boar. I would love to try that. Black forest cake. I haven't been showing a lot of the alcohol. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I forget because I'm a non-drinker. But here's some of the alcohol beverages. I think we'll come back again. As Roberta was saying, and I think we might have mentioned earlier, we're going to come back and do the figment, the... Uh, scavenger hunt and try more food while we do that but this is just an overview guys just so you can have a really good idea of what goes on here and as you can see it doesn't ever really end guys we're gonna show you this kind of more of a quiet just enjoy the music as we look at William Silver's art let's have a look As you do go around guys, you're gonna find the festival markets. This is where they're selling the specific merch for the uh, International Festival of the Arts. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a whole separate vlog with just merch, uh, just for time, right? And then if you wanna see the merch, you can watch that separately. Yeah, go check in. Not sure the order okay. these will come out. But anyway, just wanted to clarify that. So there will be a vlog with all the different kind of merch here. From festival of the arts here is another kind of a festival market but this one's really cool because you can make your own art here it's called spin art really cool you get on the bike you put in the disc and you drop some paints in there and boy who knows what's going to come out right because it's art so it can be anything you want it to be everybody's an artist that's right so this is really cool this has been i know this was here last year probably years before so here's all the different colors you can get and I'm trying to see, okay, yeah, we have some. I can show you what they look like when they're done. Right over here. Perfectly. Enough. Okay, yeah, 100%. A different one. And like, yeah, it's just not like. And they dry them off for you guys, and you're ready to go. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. How much is it to do? It's one for 19, two for 30. Not too bad. Not too bad. So if you want to do it, come on down and check it out right after Germany. Coming in here, guys, uh, McCullough Art, another gallery here. Ooh, this one's cool. Yeah. The American for Vent. Oh, this is neat. I remember this last year. It incorporates all of the World Showcase in there, right? Really cool. And as we go around here, guys, we did just ride the Walt Disney World Express, Roberta. Yes, we did. Well, I did. You guys are busy. The railroad. The railroad, yes. Lots of really bright art. A lot of Mickey stuff, right? Thunder Railroad, maybe? Yes, Big Thunder. Oh, they call this one Big Thunder Goof. $520, I had seen there. That one's nice. And just so many guys, you can just go all the way around. Where's Fig? There he is. And there's a Figment. Let's see how let's see how much these kind of prints are, Roberta. Can you see on the back? That's uh, insane. But I would guess it's probably around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be. That's the size. It's gonna be these. Like this size here, which looks like most of those are 200, in a range of 200. Yeah. Actually, all of them are. So it's 200 as well. Oh, look at that. The Hollywood Tower Hotel, right? Haunted Mansion. So many. A lot of the attractions. 
Jungle Cruise. And I do have to at least show the mine train. Wow. So cool. Another one from Beauty and the Beast, right? Fogsworth and Luminaire over here. And here we are at the outpost, the refreshment outpost. This is a plant-based bratwurst. I don't remember these from last year. I think we did get the cookie, but we weren't overly impressed with it. It comes with the, you can paint the frostings on. And then some beverages there. And what we're doing, guys, just, just logistically again, we're just kind of walking all the way around. So we started in Canada, walking all the way around, and we'll end in Mexico. Uh, but next up, China. Let's see what they have over there. So over here, guys, in China, they have the painted panda for the festival here. I just want to bring you over. Yes, I put my hood on because it's cold, man. It is cold and there's a lot of wind is what it really is. So here we have the General So Chicken Shumai and the... Oh boy, guys. Ah, let's see how I can do this. The Char Su Pork Bun. How's that sound? All right. Oh, at least we have some visuals. I think I would like to come back and try that one. Maybe when we do the um, Figment um, Scavenger Hunt, we'll try that one. We're almost to the point where... You're gonna be able to see where you can get that popcorn bucket, the figment popcorn bucket. We're getting there. Uh, and as soon as we get there again, guys, I know that's like the big thing, right? The figment popcorn bucket. You might have actually seen a few people as I've been vlogging um, with them. Again, very popular. Guys, we're gonna get ready to head into the Odyssey building. Just showing you a couple of the snacks they have in there. And yes, what else is in there? <laughs> the figment popcorn bucket is inside so let me break it down for you this year instead of having to wait in that long long queue you are able to do a virtual queue and reserve a time to pick it up the only problem with that is it fills very quickly right when the park opens um so if you came the time we came, we got here probably around 3 30 ish there was no more, there was not, no all out for the day. Sometimes it pops available time, but it goes so fast. Goes so fast. It's just a very popular popcorn oh, bucket. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find one to show it you. It looks like it's the same as last year with the different linear. That's exactly it, Roberta. It's, it's the same exact popcorn bucket, but it has a 40th Epcot lanyard uh this year with it so let's see if we can get inside and i'll show you one and if I, there's not one inside i'll ask somebody they don't mind it's meddling world they'll be friendly i'm sure here we are inside guys some of those uh specialty uh cakes and drinks that i showed from outside and i'm trying to find out where you actually go to get the popcorn bucket Let's see if we can find out. Well, here is the, after you do the virtual queue, you would check in here with the cast member. Actually pretty nice too. It's not too long. And let's see if we can come on over and see one. You can see a bunch of them in the back. And that's what it looks like this year, guys. Same as last year. And it's got that 40th uh, lanyard on the back. So I think that's really the only difference is just the lanyard trying to see i think they'll go let me look at one hang on let me get a close-up and angelique was so nice hi angelique Hello. she brought us over one and she did uh confirm the bucket is the same one from the last year's art festival but the lanyard is no it's got the 40th epcot anniversary lanyard so get your virtual cue if you want your bucket here it is guys I do want to apologize with lighting. I hope the lighting was good enough for you to see, but I do just kind of want to come over because there's actually artists in here as well. Um, lots of different art in here, and it's busy in here because it's so cold outside. So, yes, more art inside the Odyssey building. So, Roberta did get us the Figment uh, Grape Smoothie. Roberta, is that what yeah. it is? It's a grape smoothie with the freeze-dry Skittle Bite size candies. 
Wow. And it looks like a tart. Yeah, that's the new the new one. Sugar cookie with the blueberry filling. Oh, that looks good. Both look good. And I didn't want to eat a lot of sugar today. Well, I guess that's thrown out the window. Let's try them. How is it, Jake? Vanilla. Vanilla. It's supposed to be great. Remember how I talk about natural when things taste natural? This does not taste natural. Yeah. Jake's right. It reminds me, who remembers what a purple cow was? Right? You know a purple cow? Milk with grape juice, I think it used to be back in the old days. I will try a freeze dried Skittle. That tastes like a purple cow. Oh. Those Jake, come over here. Did you try one of those? Yeah, I tried a Skittle. Freeze dried Skittles, 9.5. They're awesome. Let's get right into the. I love the cup though. I'm interested in trying this because I didn't think it was blueberry. It looked like grape again, didn't it? With the color. Watch your set, folks. Watch your set. Watch your set, folks. Fresh, good, awesome, moist. That might be one of my favorites of the day. You're hearing it right now in Meddling World. I'm going I'm, I'm gonna do it. For a tart, out of all the tarts I've ever had in all the parts, this might be the best one. I'm giving it a 10. Mm. Now guys, the reason I'm giving that Pop Tart a 10 is because the blueberries taste like they were just picked from like a tree and put in this. They are so fresh and awesome. It's a 10. Everything is just amazingly delicious. Jake, how do you like the tart? It's a 9. It's really good. Jake's giving it a 9 so you guys can see that it's really good. The blueberries do taste like they're freshly picked. They do. They taste they taste awesome. That is more natural tasting than the, the purple. I'm going to call it the figment purple cow. Not so good. Did I even give this a rating yet? I don't know. I'll give it a 6. Skittles though, definitely awesome. The freeze dried Skittles. Here we are guys. Like I said, it's so much to do. We're actually getting ready to head into creation. So I'm going to do a separate vlog on the merch as I mentioned earlier in the vlog. But here is the Craftsman Courtyard Beef Wellington Cast Iron Roasted Mussels Old Fashioned Coffee Cocktails. There you go. And yes, more art over in this area. So let's go take a walk over there and I'll highlight some of that art for you as well before we are done with our everything you need to know about the Festival of the Arts. We've covered so much today. The food, the culinary arts, right? When I say food, that's what I'm talking about. The performing arts showed you different venues, different things going on. All kinds of stuff. So we've been having a lot of fun. So this is called the Promenade Fine Art. I'll just kind of glance through, guys, so you can have a little look. Really nice. I'm going to just keep this thing rolling as we go through. Oh, I remember last year I did see this guy. He does some really beautiful art. He had like these... Ah, almost like little surfboards, right? Look at this. Beautiful. Really nice. Good stuff. David Miller is the artist here, guys. Have a walk in here, guys. Again, not just paintings. Look at this stuff. All kinds of really cool characters here. Hope you guys can see them with the way a little off. We got Mickey. These things are really neat. These are like, I've never really seen anything like this before. I love it. Hear that. I made and here's the artist right here. What's your name, sir? Armando Habia. 
Awesome, Armano. This stuff is really unique, man. Thank Loving you it. Very Loving much. it. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Means a lot to me. Thank you. You're Sorry quite welcome. <laughs> no, no, it's all good, man. I like Goofy. Look at him. Like that's just like, yeah, here I am. I'm Goofy, man. Right on. So it's like, what is it? Like sheet metal? It's made out of no. It's made out of three type 316L marine grade stainless steel. Wow. They're really, really it's high quality material. They're not tin. They're Do very we need strong. That? Yeah. And that's the backs of them. So nice. Aren't they cool? Yeah. You guys, I really appreciate it. Were you here much. last year? Because I don't remember seeing yeah, these. Yeah, Where yeah. This is my third year strong. Awesome. And uh, having a lot of fun doing it, meeting a lot of great people. Yeah. So you, today you're going to meet a lot of guys with cameras, a lot of girls with cameras. Thank you very much. My pleasure. My awesome pleasure. work. Wow. What a what an awesome way to end meeting that, yes. that artist. Yeah, that's a, that's um, cool. We'll drop his name in the link. The Actually, video. we're gonna try to put as many uh, names of the artists that we saw today on the description. Sometimes we may miss one or not. I'm sorry, but we're gonna try. That's to put a lot of work yeah. for Roberta. So thank you. But guys, I just kind of want to end the vlog because. I'm actually heading into Creations to do another vlog immediately on merch, which yeah. will be a separate vlog. So, guys, please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World. We love coming to these festivals and giving you all the information. If you've been subscribed for a while, you you can count yeah. on it, right? Yeah. You know, first day of the festival, Meddling World's gonna be there and they're gonna go around the whole place. Yeah. So, thank you once again for watching. Take a moment, subscribe. Thank you to all our Patreons. And last but not least, see ya!